Welcome to Vitality Communications. In this video, we're going to show you how to get your account set up to make and receive phone calls with your phone system or a hard phone or soft phone. First, we need to log in and get our account set up properly. By using the credentials that you've got in your welcome email, you go to portal.vitality.net and then log in with your username and password that you were given. Once we get that, it's going to ask us a couple security questions. So the first question, we just come up with a little security question here. And I'll just put in what is your first name? And in my case, it's Carrie. You might want to make this a little bit more secure. And what happens if your account gets low? You, know, you can say, call my cellular number and disconnect 30 minutes later or immediately disconnect service. Well, I always want to be notified. So I'm going to put in a cell phone number here. I want to be notified, so I'm going to put in a phone number here and say go. The next thing, it's going to give us access for our IP address. If we log in from a different IP, it's going to make us go through the security questions again to make sure that you're the authorized user for that account. Okay, so now I'm authorized for this. And the first thing we need to do is set up a sub account. And the sub accounts are what is used to provide SIP credentials for your phone system or your SIP device. So we'll create one here. And I'm just going to do something simple. I'll just call this test01 and a password. I'm going to use something like Christmas, just because it's nowhere near Christmas. And the caller ID number. I'm just going to leave that blank for now. Is it going to be behind network address translation? Which is going to be yes. And I'm going to go ahead and add that account. Okay, and it tells us our password is not secure enough. It's a great security feature here to make sure that you're using a good non-dictionary word password. So what I'll do is I'll do something more like This plus zero one kind of leet speak it up there a little bit, and now I'll go and add that account. Okay, so now we have our login information here. The next thing we want to do is go over and check out our DIDs. Of course, we can always go back to our main tab here. See, I do not have any direct inward dial numbers. So I'm going to go and create a local direct inward dial number. And I'm in California, so I'm going to select California. Select Go. And I'm in the 949 area. So I'll just see if I can find something in the 949 area. There we go. Click on Order. And that looks like a good phone number there, so I'll just go and order that now. It's going to give me the information on the charges for that. Go ahead and order that. Okay, and it says that it's eligible for SMS service. Uh, that allows SMS messages to be sent and received from this phone number through our SMS service. But we're going to save that information for another video. So right now I'm going to go to my DIDs. I've got my DIDs all set up here. I can set up a failover. So if that trunk is down, it can roll over to another number. I can set up voicemail on it if I'm using this just with a, a desk phone. Or I can select from a number of different options. I can create a note for it, the routing method, call forwarding options, the DNS, E911 service. You'll definitely want that. Inbound CNAME service. So you can do a lookup of inbound phone numbers and match those to a database of names so that you get that caller ID name. And you can set up the SMS service. So right now I'm just going to go to the routing method. 
This is going to be SIP. And I'm going to send it to my phone system, or I could send it to an IP phone. But I'm just going to send it to a phone system. Which account, if I have multiple sub accounts, I can select which account. And I'm going to select Go. It's going to verify that. And it's changed the routing method. Okay, now it's all set up, but where do we get the information to actually use our SIP credentials? I'm going to click on the support tab and up here at the top there's a number of different options. Asterisk, Trixbox, Xlight, Linksys, Switchfox, Elastics, and in some cases I'm just going to use generic SIP and here's my SIP trunk information right here. So I know I just need to go to SIP41.Vitality.net Outbound proxy, you may or may not need that depending on your device. Usually you don't need that. My SIP login there is test01, and my password there is that uh, sort of encrypted password. And all I'm going to do is put that into my phone system as my trunk information, and I'm good to go. So those are the basic steps for getting your account set up, getting your sub accounts set up, getting a DID set up, and finding your SIP trunk information. So stay tuned for more videos to help you take full advantage of all the services that Vitality has. Thanks for watching.